Hello, I'm Richard Pascoe, the team principal of St Mirren Cycling, and I'd like to talk about what we've achieved so far, about plans for team, and why we're asking for financial support. Some of the future stars of Cornwall are actually out there at the moment, but it's very tough in the world of cycling to reach the highest level. Uh, it's hugely demanding, both physically and mentally. Add that to the distance that Cornish cyclists have to travel to compete nationally, Making a career in the sport is very, very hard. So let's see if we can actually make that a reality. St Piran was set up four years ago as Cornwall's first and only elite level cycling team. Our mission is to provide talented Cornish cyclists with a route to the top while helping promote local cycling grassroots level up. At the top of the St Piran pyramid, the elite team gives the riders a chance to be part of a highly professional organisation participating in races uh, both home and abroad and we want to make sure that local talented athletes no longer have to move away to forge a career in cycling. We also, very cheekily, harness the talents of non-Cornish riders, drawing on expertise from around the country to bring best practice home into the county. St Piran's elite team have already made its mark on the British road scene. We've competed in the HSB Road Series, National Circuit Series and National Championships. And last year we took a huge step with an invitation to compete in the prestigious OVO Energy Tour Series. That competition takes place in eight different city centres across the country and features the cream of British cycling talent. The series received extensive TV coverage in the UK and in a hundred other countries and St Piran featured heavily throughout. Not only did we beat all the other elite category teams, but we, we finished ahead of the higher ranked continental teams uh, that are on the circuit. And Steve Lampier won the points jersey. Make no mistake, St Piran is already making waves in the sport. For 2020, key riders have been retained uh, with a combination of both new talent, of established racers, wise old heads, and some youngsters. What price success? We could obtain sponsorship from lesser brands and get free product, but it means our riders are actually at a disadvantage, especially at national and international level. So initially, I went out and bought product in year one for St Piran. So we've been recognised amongst our peers as having some of the best equipment that the UK Peloton can offer. So basically it means our riders can perform at their best rather than what particular sponsors want to give them. And that's our ethos. The full programme of races that we have planned for 2020 requires substantial financial resources. For the long term, we're developing a sustainable financial structure, so not relying necessarily on gifts. This enables us to stand on our own feet and there in the long term be sustainable and we have three revenue streams. The first, we have sponsorship partnerships with local and national businesses. Secondly, we are uh, building a range of St Piran branded products to provide long term cash flow for the team. The St Piran brand has been applied to several locally manufactured products. You'll have seen the cider, the biscuits, the coffee and ice cream and other items about to be launched in the near future. And finally, we are seeking grants to support development riders coming up through the ranks with local organisations to promote cycling in Cornwall. Sustainability and community are at the heart of what we do at Grassroots. Speaking of up-and-coming riders, we're introducing the St Piran development team to identify promising talent. The development team flies the flag for St Piran locally, competing races in Cornwall and across the South West, and also mirrors what we're doing with the elite team. The ladies team is there to provide an outlet for a wealth of talent that is emerging amongst female riders in the South West. Our long-term goals are clear, but now is when we need your help. The purpose of the crowdfunding is to help underpin St Piran as those other established funding sources become established. The proceeds will help meet the cost of training and competing for the rest of the season. To be clear, Nobody's sitting back and expecting success to be handed to them on a plate. Our riders fit the training and racing when the jobs they do to support themselves. They're far removed from the cliche of pampered professional sportsmen. They undertake trips of hundreds of miles each weekend to compete in top level races, returning in the early hours of the morning, such furiously before heading off to their day jobs. You won't find a more dedicated group of athletes anywhere. Your financial support will help put Cornwall even more firmly on the national cycling map, giving the Cornish people something we are proud of, but enabling the young people to fulfil their dreams. In return for that support, we have a range of rewards to say thank you, and perhaps more importantly that, you become part of the St Piran family. If you live in Cornwall or visiting on holiday, we want you to come down to our headquarters at Bissau, join our social rides, meet the amateurs, or come in and have a coffee or a glass of cider. What makes St Piran different in professional sport the jersey is uncluttered, has no sponsors' logos, 
and we carry, if you like, the characteristic black and white of the Cornish flag along with some Cornish tartan. So we're very proud of the region and we want to symbolise a purity that doesn't exist in professional sport at the moment. Start small, dream big. Could we have St Piran emblazoned on the yellow jersey riding in the Champs-Élysées in the Tour de France? Why not, with your help? In Cornwall, we're not frightened of big challenges, so we're asking you to come on board, be part of the journey, share our dreams. Thank you.